Now we will execute our program on the logo. To load the program, we click on the PC logo icon situated in the upper menu. The progress bar informs us what part of our program is now loaded. LogoSoft Comfort allows you to connect online with the logo. To connect with the logo, we click on the online test icon. As with the simulation mode, we can see additional icons appearing to show us the current status of our inputs and outputs. We can now switch our logo to a run mode by clicking the green start button. As the result, the logo will execute our program. While connected online to a logo, we can also monitor the current task by pressing the monitoring icon. Contrary to the simulation mode, we cannot change the status of our inputs because what we can see on the screen is the representation of the actual state of our inputs on the logo device. Let's see what happens when we activate our inputs using the logo device directly. When we flip the first switch, we can see the corresponding input outlined in red in our program. Notice that the output Q1 is also affected, which is signaled by the first light bulb lightening up. The identical situation occurs when we test the second, third and fourth switch. We have ensured that our program works correctly on a logo device. We can stop the logo via LogoSoft Comfort by clicking on the stop icon. Once we have stopped the logo, the connection between the program and the device is ended. The logo, while being in the stop mode, cannot see our device or control it with the program. In our next step, we will try to modify this simple program in such a way that it will only be possible to actuate Q1 if the input I1 is closed and the remaining inputs are not.